Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of NX Tutorials. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to create this part, the paper clip, using Sketch. So the first thing you want to do every time you get a new part is you want to analyze it and figure out in what unit you will be using. In this case, we'll be using the metric millimeters, as you can see here. And the other thing is, if you want to use sketch doing your part or using the primitives. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing is, as usual, you want to create a new file for your project by clicking new. We'll go ahead and name it paperclip. And then you want to make sure it's in millimeters. Click OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to sketch it out without using the auto dimensioning. So we'll access that by clicking File. Preferences. Sketch. Down in the second box and the third box, create inferred constraints and continuous auto dimensioning. You want to check those off and click OK. Alright, once we have that, you want to go ahead and click Sketch. We're going to leave it in the XY plane. Alright, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and create the 16 millimeter line of the paper clip. So go ahead and click line. Alright, so down here it says your sketch needs four constraints. First thing you want to go ahead and rapid dimension this line by highlighting it and giving it a dimension. We want it 16 millimeters and press enter. Next, we want to constrain these points to our uh, datum. So we'll go ahead and select the, line, the point to the y-axis. We'll just say 100 millimeters away from the y. Now we still have two more constraints. We'll go ahead and constrain it, the line to the x-axis. Do that again, X. I'll say another hundred. Close. All right, so now our line is hundred by hundred in space away from your WCS. So the, the last constraint is you can highlight the line and then tell it you want it to be vertical. So now your sketch is fully constrained. Alright, next we'll go ahead and create the arc. The first arc is 4.5. Same thing, you want to rapid dimension your arc. 4.5. Next, you want to select your arc to the line and you want it to be tangent. Next, you want to select this point of the arc and this point of the line and you want it to be coincident. Now it says the sketch still needs one more constraint. We can go ahead and click this point on the arc and this point 
make them horizontal alignment to make it even. Fully constrained. Now we're going to go ahead and move forward to the next line, which is the 23 millimeters. Same process, click line, create your line, give it a dimension. Sorry, rapid. We want it to be 23 millimeters long. Then we want this arc and this line to be tangent. And zoom in. You want to make sure you select the point, end point of the arc and the end point of this line to be coincident. All right. So now we're fully constrained. After that, we're going to go ahead and create the 5.5 millimeter arc coming down here. Arc. Same thing, you want a rapid dimension, this arc. You want it to be 5.5. You want to highlight this arc and this line. You want it to be tangent. And you want this point to this point to be coincident. And this point with this point, horizontal alignment. All right, so now your sketch is fully constrained. All right, next you want to do the 32 millimeter line by clicking here, line. Create another line. Give it a dimension. You want it to be 32. Press Enter. Close out from the rapid dimension. Highlight your line with this arc. You want it to be tangent. You want this point with this point connected. Alright, now we got the top radius of 6.5. Go ahead and create another 6.5 radius. All right, once we have that created, you want a rapid dimension again. The radius, you want to tell it 6.5. Press Enter. Close out. Same procedure, highlight your arc with this line. You want a tangent. This point with this point, coincident. Also want this point of the arc and the end point of the arc to be aligned horizontally. All right, and lastly, we got the 25 millimeter line coming down. Go ahead and create a line. Dimension it. Twenty-five. Enter. Close. Highlight. Make sure it's red. And then you want to highlight. You also want to make sure the arc is red, and then come out here, tangent, zoom in to pick up your points, so end point of the line to the end point of the arc. There it is. All right, so now we have our uh, paper clip here, fully constrained, looking like this. This is our original. Alright, so the next uh, feature that I want to show you is it's the, the tube feature. So go ahead and finish of your sketch. Here's your paper clip. Alright, so in order to make a, a tube looking paper clip, making it look like a 3D, you want to come here, menu, insert, under sweep, Towards the bottom it says tube. Go 
and it selected all your, your curves. We had seven curves all around. Alright, so we'll go ahead and change that outer diameter to 2 and we'll leave the inner diameter to 0 and click OK. There we have the paper clip here. Control J. All right, there you have it, a paper clip. So in today's lesson, we learned how to sketch using auto dimensioning off, and I did show you how to use the tube feature in this paper clip here. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Until next time.